American Airlines has announced that it will charter flights between Havana and Los Angeles beginning in December. We're going to follow up on that with a few more flights soon after. So how available will these flights be to the general public? Well, well right now you're still looking at charter flights. So these are kind of tricky to book. And it's really best to book a trip to Cuba at this point still with a tour operator that's comfortable in the, in the country. Now, it is legal for U.S. travelers to go there under certain conditions. And a tour operator can make sure that your trip is legal and approved and, you know, all above board. They can help you with booking the charter flights. But really what we're excited about is later this year, some commercial service into Cuba. You know, the same way that you book a flight to the Dominican Republic or to Puerto Rico, you might be able to buy a flight right online, right into Cuba by the end of this year if approvals go through. And that could really open the floodgates to tourism to Cuba. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> before the Cuban Revolution, Cuban, Cuba was known, Havana was known as a playground for the wealthy, the elites. Um, so obviously, it hasn't remained like that because of the embargo, but what can people expect? Can they ex you're not going to expect the five-star luxury you're used to seeing in, you know, Costa Rica or no. in St. Bart's. Exactly, exactly. It's still, you know, a country stuck, you know, kind of in the past in terms of its infrastructure and particularly its tourism infrastructure. Now, there are resorts there that say Canadians, uh, you know, British folks are going there and they have been going there for many, many years. But for an American tourist that's interested in the history and the culture, you know, things are still a little rough around the edges and you should expect that going in. One alternative, a lot of cruise lines also going to Cuba are looking to start service there in the coming years and that'll be another alternative for American tourists to get to the island see it in an engaging and interesting way but still have some of those you know creature comforts and amenities that they're used to and Airbnb yeah and Airbnb in there now with more than 2,000 properties across wow. the island I mean they're really growing quickly there and an incredible way to sort of you know get under the skin of the place I think